hi all so welcome to this channel and in today's video session i'll discuss array in sql stored procedures so basically we have seen that we are able to pass in teaser character data in the array in the sql stored procedure but we are not able to we have not seen such demo where we are pa passing arrays in the SQL SQL procedure so as I would say that we don't have any array uh, data type which uh, talks about the array in SQL SQL procedure but uh, we can yes we can create our own data type uh, of uh, array which we can use in our SQL SQL procedure so let me uh, give you the demo that how we will be basically using the array in our SQL stored procedure I'll be passing the arrays I'll be using them so let me tell you how and how we'll be creating the data type array in our SQL uh, so that we can use that in our SQL stored procedure so let's move towards the demo so first thing is to uh, create an array so just go to strsql and now we need to create a type so basically we are creating a data type here so for that I am using create type keyword now I need to give it a name so let's say for example uh, for now I am creating an integer type array int array as integer and here I need to define the number of elements in that array total number of elements so let's say I am providing uh, let's say 50 and this press enter so you can see distinct type or array type int array created in library this just do work object int array so you can see an SQL UDT uh, that is a distinct data type gets created user defined data type gets created of named array in library this now how we'll be using this array data type in our SQL stored procedure let's see that work member PDM So we have this uh, procedure where uh, you can see I'm taking two parameters as input or output where uh, there are two parameters basically in this procedure so first one is the input parameter and the second one is the output parameter now if you see the output parameter is of type integer but if you look at the first parameter that actually defines the data type which we have just created so basically we can see we can say that we are now using the user defined data type which is of type array integer array actually so you can see I'm taking input p underscore array of type int array which we just created now after that you can see I'm using a specific keyword and then providing the name so procedure name and uh, the system name is same here so specific is just to uh, create a system name which is always unique within a schema so if um, more than two or uh, more than one is or you can say more than one stored procedure exist in a schema of same name but their specific name must be different it must be unique always now after that you can see uh, that the big body of the stored procedure begins and then I am declaring two variables so the first one is the ln school loop of type in teaser default value set to one so basically this is for uh, uh, looping so I am looping from one till number of elements so here I define the array elements that is in teaser again and default value is 0 now you can see that I have used cardinality function here and I am setting the array elements so 
I'm applying this cardinality function on the input array which we are receiving which is of integer type so cardinally cardinality function is basically what it does it returns the number of elements in an array so basically if uh, let's the total number of elements is 50 but we are actually passing five elements from uh, the calling stored procedure then we are getting the array elements as five so no need to apply that uh, thing uh, which we basically does like uh, checking for the zero or checking for the blank in the string array so here i am setting the total value as zero which i am going to return now you can see i have applied the while loop while and end while now the condition is l underscore loop is less than equals to array elements so i loop till array elements from the first element and then i am adding the first value which is present at the array first position to the total and then i am loop, uh, incrementing the loop by one so this way i'll be adding all the uh, values stored at the array elements uh, till whatever we are receiving and finally we are basically you can see this is an out parameter so we are returning the total so let's come out so the first thing is to create this stored procedure run sqlstm stored rock easy class 1 stored 35 star none and debug view set to star source let's do work object stored 35 so the program type object gets created successfully so you can see we are able to successfully compile or create our stored procedure by using the user defined data type of integer array which we just created on the str sql by using this command create type int array as integer array 50 now now the thing is to call this and populate this array. so I have written some uh, one more stored procedure here which is basically calling this so create or replace procedure stored 36 so you can see this is uh, now uh, another procedure which is actually returning a total uh, variable that is an output parameter of type in teaser so and you can see stored 35 accepts two parameter one is array and the second one is the total and which is basically returned by this calling procedure to the uh, from the caller to the caller now you can see within this we have begin and end again and now you can see I am declaring this array so declare p underscore array of type int array so int array we have already created that is a user defined data type now I am setting this p underscore array value so array using the array function array 1 2 3 4 5 so I can set something else let's uh, 5 let's some set something else let's 5 comma 6 comma 7 or let's say 5 4 comma 8 comma 2 comma 7 okay so I am passing only 5 uh, element, uh, elements of array and then you can see I am calling that stored procedure call stored 35 and passing this array as well as the total variable so that we would get the total here and we would then pass this total from this 36 to the caller so let's compile this as well 
just take f4 so here we need to change 36 only just to work object is told 36 so you can see those both two procedures gets created let's check the entries in the table that is catalog table let's see for both of them store 36 is created and it's calling store 36 store 35 is also created it's calling store 35 both are sql procedures now let's check the parameters for 35 there are two parameters one is input and the second one is the output named are this one data type you can see the array and it's the integer precision is this one for the 36 we would have only one that is the output parameter you can see that's of type integer now we need to debug this so let's first debug this stored so we'll debug from 36 only and then we'll go inside the 35 we'll set the breakpoint let's set the breakpoint here here and here as well just take shift f2 and add store 35 as well just to 5 here and set the breakpoint here 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 so I'll set the big point to all the points, all the lines. Now we need to call this. So call is told 36. So stored 36 is basically accepting the output parameter. So we cannot uh, pass any parameter, mark away or anything else from here. So we need to, to pass a variable which can uh, just take back or just can store the output value return from calling of stored 36 so we need to create a variable here create variable let's say i'm creating total or we can create or replace we can use this as well total of type teaser we can provide the default value as null let's say so you can see uh, we have created a total service program object that is basically a variable here let's create global variable now we need to call the store 36 and we need to pass the global variable here so you can see now we are in the store 36 procedure so let's check the values so uh, let's check at the 50th position so it's null on the first position so let check so we can see uh, everything is null here currently the data is null so after this execution of this line we'll set the values on the array positions 1 till 5th so let's see in what position what value is there on first it's 5 
on second it's four that's correct on third it's eight that's correct again on fourth it's two and on fifth it's seven so we can see we have uh, correct data in the p underscore array that is of type array now we are on the call so just press shift f10 once twice thrice four times five times six times seven times eight times so press until you are not there on to the uh, store 35 so you can do this but as i would say that you have we have already set the breakpoint so we can directly take f12 from there from there we can directly take f12 so we will be here but if you have not uh, put it the breakpoints in the store 35 and you want to go inside this so, so you need to press shift f multiple times so that you are in now you can see i am defining these variables and this was initially zero but here you can see the array elements is now five so um, it was uh, just due to cardinality function so you can see cardinality function basically returns the number of elements in an array so we have passed five elements in this array from the calling proceed, uh, procedure to 36 so we are getting array elements as five so let's p underscore total is zero now we'll run the loop from one is less than equal to five just press the f10 so the first thing is on the first position it's five the second is four so we are adding all of them so we basically uh, get 20 just wait just press shift f10 uh, just press f10 now you'll see the value 5 4 9 8 17 to 19 and 26 so we are getting the correct total of the array elements so now it's returned to the sql global global variable so if we see the data in the sql global variable let's check select total from sys ibm dot system one so you can see we have received the uh, value 26 so you can see the value only in this session you cannot access this this value in any, any other section session which is now uh, returned and stored in the sql global variable so this way you have seen that how we'll be using the array in the sql stored procedure so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time